Hey there, welcome along. I'm Damien, this is Lost in Canto, and today I want to talk a little bit about something different. I want to talk about this promo card, the promo card that everybody seems to want at the moment. The one that's caused a lot of issues, the one that's caused a lot of problems. It's that Pikachu with grey felt hat, and I just want to give some of my thoughts on it. I think I'm very lucky. I picked this one up with uh, the promo. They had a promo offer here in the UK so that you could get this with a purchase. I picked up an ETB, a Lost Origin ETB, and... I was lucky enough to get two copies of this with my purchase. It seemed to be a mistake. There's a lot of people on Reddit having the same issue. I say issue, it's technically a benefit. But if I'm being completely honest, I'm not actually sure if this card's been worth the money uh, and the, the level of effort that people are going to get hold of one. I know that it's a really cool card in terms of like the process, the, the thought process behind it. It was only available obviously initially in um, Amsterdam at the Van Gogh Museum, but the more I look at it, obviously this one's sealed. I have one in my collection. Uh, I don't. I'm, I may give this one to one of my relatives. I'm not really sure yet. But in terms of like the overall, the way that the Pokemon company handled the rollout of this and scalpers got hold of it is, yeah, it's frustrating. And I know that there's a lot of FOMO around it and people want to, people are paying ridiculous amounts of money. And I know as well, I want to talk a little bit about the analysis that some people had with it. I think... A lot of people online, obviously long-term collectors, who I know that I know that a lot of people bought it for investment purposes. I just kind of wanted to have it in my collection. I was lucky enough to get two, and one of them I'm I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with it. But you see a lot of people scalping it, and the problem is I know that there was another wave, and I was lucky enough to get hold of this card through that other wave through the Pokemon Center here in the UK. There was a lot of people claiming that the prices would dip, but I don't think they, I think a lot of people underestimated just how much scalpers would go to to get hold of this to kind of clean out the inventory. And obviously, a lot of collectors like myself who wanted the card have it in the collection. It's really cool. It's one of the, I'm having learned a little bit about those, um, the previous art cards that were Japanese exclusive, being having one that was in English is kind of cool, and having one that's not available in a lot of regions is means that there's going to be more design I, I do feel like there's going to be more demand for this in the long term and you can see the cards going for like 100 170 even even in some cases like 200 pound online which is a lot of money that's ridiculous i'm not denying that that's ridiculous but to say that this would come down in price was also a little bit ridiculous because you saw how they bungled that first wave of cards being made available and no one could get hold of one They've not, the, the Pokemon Center didn't necessarily bungle it as bad the second time around, but it's still an absolute disgrace. Why would you think it would work second time? Why do you think the second wave would work? I, I, it, it almost, it's confusing to me that someone would think that it was going to work that second time around. But I want to talk about the card a little bit as well. If I'm being completely honest, I kind of expected more. It does no, there's no texture on it. It's, yeah, it's a nice looking card. Um... If you haven't seen it up close, I'm sure by this point in time you probably will have done. It is a nice card, and it has that like info card on the back as well with like talking about Van Gogh. But there's nothing here that screams this is a must-have for every single person in their collection, and that's 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 just kind of the way it is. I think um, obviously if you want it, you're going to have to pay for it now. I do think it's probably going to be its cheapest now than it ever will be because. There's so many people holding on to stock that they can slowly bleed them out over time. I know there's fakes online as well, so be wary of those. But, like, I don't know. I'm caught in two minds. I'm caught in two minds about it because there's going to be people out there who were desperately wanting hold, wanting to, to get hold of this. They've not been able to do so. They're disappointed. I can understand the disappointment I was initially. Um, I was away, so I had no opportunity to go on the, the Pokemon Center anyway and, and try and get hold of one. But... Scalpers came in. They've done the same again second time. Obviously, you had to make a purchase of Pokemon cards, but if you if you could if you're willing to 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 buy all of the product to get hold of them, you're not going to not do that again because you can just hold it back and put them online anyway. So yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of people saying it would drop as low as twenty dollars or twenty pounds. I'm like, no, it won't. It definitely won't because there's going to be people outside of those regions like. Obviously, you can buy it in the UK, you can buy it in the US, and you had to go to Amsterdam to, to the Van Gogh Museum. That controlled that like really tight uh, tight boundaries of where you can purchase a product from means that it was always going to be this case. So I don't understand. If you're going to buy this for investment, then 
yeah, go, I, I don't think it's a bad investment. I don't think it's a bad card to invest in, in some respects. You can already see the fruits of that now. This card is already starting to reach prices that people were claiming it never would um, because the Pokemon company would print it into oblivion and it doesn't look like they've done that. I think the quality, quality control is a big thing. So I don't know if you're buying graded versions, like this has already got a mark on it. Like this has come straight from, from factory and there's already a mark, I think, would it be top right this side? There's a tiny, tiny mark there. My other copies in my binder. That's a lot better. That's a lot cleaner. But yeah, if you want pristine copies of this, there's, I suppose there's less to go wrong because there's no hollow. I would have preferred it. It'd have been really cool. I've seen a lot of like um, fan efforts and the colors are really nice, but it's quite flat. It's quite plain. I guess that's in keeping with the Van Gogh style, but I don't think it really, I don't know. Maybe because I have it now, I'm not as, I'm not as bothered. I've, maybe I feel like, I've seen it. I own one. I'm not. Maybe I was kind of in the in the in the group of people who were really like. I, I did have. I must have had Vomo because I have one. Um, but yeah, I don't think I don't think it's a completely earth shattering card. But I do think that a lot of people got it wrong. I think a lot of people were just completely. I don't know what they were thinking. I think um, if they expected the market to settle, it wasn't going to be the case. Like the the. Let's say, for argument's sake, they printed a hundred thousand. There was always going to be a case where, I don't know. Let's let's say scalpers took seventy percent of those. There's only thirty thousand in circulation that are ever going to be for for collectors, and obviously I I happen to get two, so there's two out of circulation there, and I still don't know what to do with it because the value's high. Um, I could do a giveaway, but uh, like it's it's still my card at the end of the day. I would rather give it to someone I know directly, um, who I know is going to take care of it. Who's probably going to put it in their own collection which is probably what i will do in the end but uh, yeah it's a strange one because people are uh, it seems to be people are like have this warped sense of oh you do this do that and it's like you do do you understand that in every other walk of life that would happen something scarce people are going to try and scalp it and yeah that's that, that i don't think it's worth it i don't, really don't think it's worth it if you pay if you pay 200 dollars for this card or 150 pounds or in above I, just, I think you've been mugged off um if you're doing that to hold it potentially sell it at a later date then fair play to you go for it but i don't think it's the card that it's made out to be that's all i'm saying um yeah i just wanted to give a few thoughts i know i'm a little bit late to the party i know people have probably talked about this into oblivion but i just don't think that this is the exceptional world beating card that even i thought it was going to be I, I, I had a, i had a really weird sense of what i expected from it i don't know why um i think because of the way they handled the launch made it more confusing as well so yeah if, you, if you're thinking about buying the pikachu with gray felt hat i'd say just stay clear it's i don't think it's worth it i think there's better cards out there that you can pick up i think there's more um visually appealing cards as well i think it, I, don't get me wrong i like the design of it but there's way nicer art rares uh special special art rares as well that you can pick up from from other sets that are going to be cheaper they're probably going to be more readily available well definitely more readily available and you don't have to deal necessarily with scalpers i think you're just going to deal with someone who's a collector or a, a normal seller who's going to give you a good price and when you factor in that these cards are just uh, it seems very much like people are trying to make a quick buck then yeah that's be best bet but that's just my thoughts on the Pikachu with grey felt hat. I don't think it's a particularly um, impressive card in all in all honesty. It, there's some aspects of it that I do like. I do like that it's in keeping with Van Gogh's style, but the rest of it, take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. And I'll speak to you soon.